Hey guys, Cece back with another video. And for today's video, we are going to review another skin tint. <laughs> Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. All right, y'all. So I'm so excited about this one. Like so, so, so excited. And the reason being is that I've wanted to try the skin tint for so long and I just haven't because I don't know why. I just haven't. I've been shying away from skin tints because you guys know I have oily skin. However, we are changing that with this series. So if you guys have missed the other videos in this series, make sure you check down below. I'll have them all linked down below because I feel like everybody needs something out of this series. Skin tints are huge right now in the beauty community. And so I just wanted to try as many as I can for you guys and let you know my thoughts on them. I did have to return the last one that I did yeah I had to return that one because um she just wasn't hidden for me and I'll do the same with this one if it's the same thing but you know anyway let's get into this one this is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer oil free natural skin perfecter so that is what she looks like and the one thing that I absolutely love about this off the bat is that they had many sizes Y'all know I stand for me a mini size. Plus, anytime I can buy a small little bit of something, because y'all know I have a lot of makeup, so anytime I can buy a small little bit of something, only have to pay a fraction of the cost, that's good for me. I got mine in the shade 5W1 Tan, and this stuff is supposed to be really good, so we're gonna put it to the test today. Um, let's go on the Sephora app, and I'm just gonna read you some of the claims from there. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is a lightweight tinted moisturizer with a cult favorite formula that provides sheer coverage and a blurred matte finish. So that's one of the things that I was really drawn to, a skin tint with a matte finish. What? Hand it over, right? It, um, it says light coverage, matte finish, liquid formula. It has an SPF of 20 in it, which most skin tints do have SPF in them. Oil absorbing powders help skin shine helps keep skin shine free with the natural demi matte finish it has licorice root extract which soothes irritated or troubled skin it also has vitamin e which helps protect against damaging effects of the sun this is supposed to give you a skin soft i'm sorry i can't read today it's supposed to give your skin a soft focus effect all while providing a poreless look and blurring fine lines. Oh, boo, boo. That's like my jam right there. A sheer coverage that's matte. Like, that would be absolutely lovely. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is do the eyes. I feel like today I wanna go full glam. Like, today's gonna be all about the glam. So for the eyes, I'm gonna use the new Patrick Ta palette. I've been really liking this palette. Only thing I don't like is that you get fingerprints all over it. Can you see that? There's fingerprints everywhere. But this palette is so gorgeous. So we're gonna do the eyes real quick with this palette, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about that skin tint there. <laughs>
look is complete. I love the way that palette blends out so easily and so well. And I'll have everything that I use linked down below in the description box per usual. But I just, I mean, oh my gosh, this eye look came out so cute. Anyway, let's get started on the star of the show. We're gonna prime our face per usual. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. And I really like this primer. It's a nice mattifying primer. You guys know I use primer every day, a mattifying primer um, for the most part, every single day. So in order to stay true to the review so I can exactly know how it works, I would need to know how it works with primer because I'm going to use primer every single day. So just taking my Bobbi Brown and if you guys haven't watched the other videos in this series, I'm going to use as many Laura Mercier products as I have. So for some of the items, I don't have Laura Mercier products. Like I didn't have a Laura Mercier palette. I didn't have a Laura Mercier primer. So I pulled out a brand that was similar to Laura Mercier in my mind. So that's how I came to the Bobbi Brown conclusion. But that's what I'm gonna try to do in all these videos is keep them like on brand. I'm gonna try to keep them as on brand as possible. I'm not going out and buying new products, but I'm gonna keep them as on brand as I possibly can, okay? So let's get into this. Laura Mercier skin tint here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I've been trying to figure out if I should use a brush or a sponge and I think I'm going to use a brush because a sponge is just going to sheer it out even more so I think I'm going to use a brush I'm in the shade 5w1 tan now for Laura Mercier they do not have an exact shade for me um, and that's in any of the products 5w1 is like a smidget like this much too dark and then the one before it which I don't know what the number is but that one is like a smidget too light so I go with the darker one and this is really good I'll mix them with foundations or I will um or I will wear it in the summertime and it's a good shade for me so I just wanted to give that disclaimer if you are my skin tone 5w1 is like this much too dark I'm going to use this Anastasia, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A30 brush and we're going to take one side of it and just see, this actually doesn't look too dark. Is it, do I have a tan or is this just a different color from the foundation? Because this actually seriously does not look too dark. Hmm. Okay, well that's good to know. That's good to know. No, that's perfect. It's actually a perfect shade. Definitely sheer coverage. Yeah, she's definitely sheer. More sheer than we love, but it's okay. I, I oh, okay, well let's look at it because I don't know that it did anything. I don't, one, I don't see that it's a matte finish, but it's not settled yet, so let it sit. But two, I mean, do you guys, do we look the exact same? Minus the little sheen over here. I don't, I don't know that I see a difference. Y'all, I'm seriously, I don't know that I see a difference. I mean, it evened out my skin tone, but that's really it. I... Okay. Okay, well, let's let's do the other side. Now, I understand a sheer coverage, but I need to see it a little bit. I need to see it do a little something now. I understand this is sheer, but I didn't know sheer meant non-existent. I, I didn't... I didn't realize that sheer meant non-existent. Cause that's kind of what this is giving me. I, I it's, it's giving non-existent, not there. No need to put it on because it's not there. 
it's not giving what needs to be gave, okay? At this point, it's not giving what needs to be gave. I'm not getting it, I'm just not. I don't know y'all. I'm not seeing what I need to see. And I love Laura. Laura is probably one of my favorite high-end brands, but I'm just not seeing what everybody else is seeing with this skin tint. Like y'all told me this was amazing. And I think y'all, I, I don't know. I mean, it did even out my skin tone. So that looks good. It did even out my skin tone. I'm just confused on what else it did. Cause that looks like that's all it did. Like even as I add another layer, I, I don't get any more coverage, if that makes any sense. It's just, it, it is what it is, <laughs> I guess. Okay, first thought, first impression, I'm not wowed. Um, and I know it's a skin tint and I know it's sheer coverage, so maybe I'm asking for too much, but I just, I don't see, I do see a little bit of the blurring properties in there. I can't lie and say I don't see that because I do see that, but it just feels extra sheer, like extra sheer. And I, I wasn't, I just wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd have a little bit of coverage, but it was just, it's like extra sheer. So if you're looking for like any coverage at all, you can leave this one at home, y'all. Just being honest from first impressions, you know? So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. That's what it is. This is good coverage, like extra serious coverage concealer. And I really love it. My skin does look really pretty though. I can't lie, my skin does look really pretty. And even like it's it's letting the skin pop through obviously because it's sheer coverage so your skin's definitely popping through and my skin does look really good though so I, I can't say that all right let's go ahead and set this you already know what we're setting it with the infamous Laura Mercier translucent powder which we love her So today, I think it's my first time using it in a video, you guys. I'm gonna take the Chanel Tan Day Chanel Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronze Deep, and I am going to use it as a bronzer today. I've been using this a lot lately and have really been liking it. <laughs> Let's be completely honest. I, like, I really like it. Don't get me wrong, I actually really, really, really like it. It blends really well. It's a great shade for me. I actually really do love this, but I feel like there's other cream bronzers that are doing the same thing. Like NARS has a nice one that they just came out with. Huda Beauty has a really good one that I love. Um, and they're all cheaper, like a lot cheaper. So I do wanna say that I think this is beautiful and it's an amazing bronzer, but you don't need a Chanel cream bronzer. There are so many others. I've shown you others. I need to do an updated bronzer collection. I was watching Andrea Renee last week. It was last week or this week, and she did an updated bronzer collection, and I was like, I need to update mine because I haven't updated mine for, it's been like a year and a half, two years, and I've gotten a lot of new good bronzers since then, so I need to update my bronzer collection with you guys, or at least do a um, an updated cream bronzer collection because that really has grown as well. But for the face powder, we're gonna use the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Bronze 3. And we are gonna get nice and, nice and finished off here. This is a great finishing powder. Doesn't have much coverage, but it's an amazing finishing powder. Just to kind of give your skin that blurred effect and set everything in place. This is your guy. All right, for powder bronzer, I'm gonna take my Guerlain Terracotta in the shade number five, and we're just going to right on top, 
of where we placed that other bronzer, the Chanel. We're just gonna place this right on top to kind of set it in place. We love a nice toasted bronze face, right? We love it. Lastly, let's do blush and highlighter. I'm gonna use this new blush I got. This is the Pat McGrath Labs blush. And this one's in the shade, what's it called? Paradise Venus. And it's so, so, so pretty. This is one of her new blushes. I think this has only been out for maybe a couple months or so. But it's so pretty. So cute, right? I've actually been foregoing blush lately. And I don't know why, because I really do love blush, but I've actually been foregoing it a little bit lately. And just um and just doing bronzer and highlighter. If this look shows nothing else, honey, it shows that you can absolutely get glam with a skin tint. Like people think you need to be super full coverage to be glam. No ma'am, you can absolutely get glam with a skin tint. I prefer to get glam with full coverage, but it is not necessary. Skin tint will do the trick for you, okay? Look at me. Whose ball am I going to? Like what, what events am I going to with this look, with the skin tint on? Look at that. Look at that. We look gorge. Absolutely gorge. I love it. She's a fan. She's a fan. Let's do a little inner corner hit there. I still do that, y'all. I love hitting my inner corner with highlight. It just makes my eyes look so wide awake and pop like, oh, it just pops my eyes and takes them to a whole nother level. Like I love that little inner corner highlight trick. Okay, y'all, so this is it. This is the final look right here. Absolutely loving how the look turned out. Like I said, the skin tint is a little more sheer than I thought it would be, but I am absolutely loving how this look turned out. It looks so, 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 so good. And I don't know, I'm really excited about it. You don't always have to have full coverage in order to be glam, and that is awesome, right? So, this is where we are. I just noticed I didn't even close that drawer back there. Forgive me, y'all, because I look real tacky. But <laughs> anyway, this is where we are at the end of this. I absolutely love it. And yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think about these skin tints. Let me know what you think about this Laura Mercier and if you've tried it. But I am absolutely loving how the entire look came out and came together. It's so, so, so pretty. Ooh, my skin looks good, too. Maybe I'm just having a really good skin day, but my skin looks really, really good. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love, for your support, all of that of my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. Let me know down below what skin tint you would like me to try next. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.